Hey best friends, welcome to my kitchen. So I'm super excited. I told you guys I was going to be bringing you some flight attendant meal prep inspiration. And today's video is sponsored by a company called Grecho. I'll be using their multifunctional electric cooker. You guys know I love to cook. I'm super excited. What I was most excited about with this product is to see when I got it in the mail exactly how small it was. How cute is this little baby? Super cute, compact, and as a flight attendant, I like to cook my meals and bring them with me, but it would be also really nice, like for the winter, if I wanna have soups or stuff like that, I can just put it in here and warm it up. Not only is it cute, compact, and will easily fit in our suitcases, but it's multifunctional. And so it has this base here where you warm your, you know, this is your heating base. And so, and the heating base actually has, it goes up to 400, let me show you guys that first. So the heating base goes up to 410 degrees, which is awesome. And so with the heating base, it's really nice because you can have it on a low setting. You can jump in the shower, warm your soup, you come out, your soup's ready, lay in the bed, turn the TV on, watch your favorite show, and enjoy your layover, girl, okay? And so what I love about this, and we're gonna get into it, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna clean it first, and then we're gonna make some black beans but hold on so this lid here is really cool because it's a duo lid and so you've got a lid or you can actually fry something up so it's like let's say you had brought some salmon with you and or maybe salmon's not the best option maybe if it was like chicken or something like that or whatever if it was frozen in an unthaw you could easily cook it here which is very cool. Before we get into cleaning it, I just want to show you guys another feature that I really appreciate as a flight attendant, as a person who travels. It actually has here 120 voltage or 220, just depending on where you are. And so you can easily switch the voltage because I don't know if you guys know, but like with cooking where the voltage will depend on, you know, where you are. And I'm in the US, so I'm gonna be using it at 120. But if I were in another country, in another area, I could always switch the voltage. So very, very cool. So what's on the menu? That's what you guys wanna know, right? Okay, so I wanna keep it pretty simple. Uh, because this is gonna be my dinner tonight and then I'm also flying tomorrow and so I want some food for tomorrow and so in this little cute pot here I'm gonna make some black beans then I'm gonna make some rice um, okay so black beans rice um, oh my coleslaw which is bomb I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all in on my coleslaw recipe today okay first things first we're going to wash this it's gonna be using warm water the other thing I wanted to show you guys is that this right here can be used if you want to steam food. And so you just put that down in there, steam your food, but I'm not going to be steaming anything today. So I'm just going to use some di dishwashing liquid, I was about to say detergent. And obviously when you get any new pots, you just want to wash it. What's really great about this is that um, it's non-stick. So obviously I haven't cooked in it yet and you know we'll be able to determine if it's non-stick just by seeing how the black beans um, sit at the bottom of the pot. But I can already tell because I know my pots and one thing I can tell right now, yeah definitely non-stick. That's what I love the most and I love to use wooden spoons so maybe I'll have to get like a small wooden spoon little traveling kit here. So I'm going to start by turning on the base and honestly I want this to do its thing and so I turned it all the way up. So I just want to put my hand over it because y'all know anytime I'm cooking y'all always see me put my hand over my pots. Wow it's getting hot very very quick guys. Very quick. So I'm just going to put this on here. Wow. Okay I'm going to go in with some garlic olive oil from Trader Joe's. Just a little bit. I wanna see if it does its thing. And so, again, I'm making black beans. I cut up three um, garlic cloves and a shallot. And so what I'm really waiting to hear is that nice sizzle that lets me know my stuff is cooking. That's what I wanna hear. It's cooking! <laughs> Okay, super excited. Yes. Yes, Grecho. 
Is it Grecho or Greco? But yes, it's doing its thing. Oh my gosh, it's already smelling super amazing. That is so, I'm in my seasoning cabinet up here, y'all. Gonna be using a packet of Sasson for sure. Maybe not the whole packet though. Oh my gosh, guys, look. It's, this thing is the truth. What? I'm about to be packing it in, this and bringing it with me on all my layovers. So I'm gonna go in now with the beans. This is just a can of organic Goya beans and I rinse them three times. Garlic and shallots give me light. And so I'm going to go in with a half pack of the sasson. Only half of it is good. So the other half because it does have a lot of salt. Use some garlic powder. My new fave from Trader Joe's black garlic. My body a complete seasoning. Two tablespoons of spaghetti sauce. And a little bit of vegetable broth. Give this all a nice stir. And then I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna let it cook and we'll check back on it. Okay, so let's check back in on our beans. They look so yummy and always be careful, the lid is so hot. Oh my gosh, perfect. And so I actually wanted the broth to cook down. Amazing, I've got my rice going here. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coleslaw. Oh my gosh, yo, these beans. Mmm. I almost feel like I should chop some fresh green onion and throw it in. I just might try them and see how they're tasting. Oh my god. Mmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Jesus. Mmm. Thank you, Lord. My god. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So be very careful with that hot lid. Just gonna throw some of this in. It's gonna bring such immense flavors. You guys don't even understand. So I'm gonna turn this down actually, because at this point, my beans are done. I just wanna leave them on very, very low. So yummy, OMG. Okay, so now ooh, my rice is done too. Okay, my coleslaw, I'm gonna be using this shredded green and red cabbage with orange carrots. Usually I do peel my own carrots and stuff like that, but not tonight. So I'm going in with the olive oil here. This is a garlic infused olive oil. So let's do that first. Turmeric, remember, I'm not measuring my seasonings. It's just that I'm gonna stop when my ancestors say, girl, that's enough, okay? Because I am my ancestors' wildest dreams, okay? Fulfilling their duties that they set before me. Okay, so we got the turmeric, cayenne. You use this much, you know, this is one of those to your liking. But still, ancestors be like, ooh, girl, that's gonna be too hot. Ooh, ooh, girl, that's not gonna be hot enough. And so I like mine a little spicy. Going on with the Grace All Purpose Seasoning. Ancestors say, oop, stop, girl. Stop, girl. You don't need no high blood pressure, okay? Going on with the black pepper. They said that's enough, okay. The Goya Sassonador Total, my absolute fave. They said that's enough, y'all. All right, I hear them. All right, now I'm gonna be going in with the Hellman's Vegan Mayo. One, two, we'll go in a need more. So just mix it up. This would it look like. So now it's time to plate my dinner. And 
then I'm using a cup of rice. So I'm gonna put that right in the center. Voila, parsley. And so, I'm gonna go with my coleslaw right over here. I'm a person that doesn't mind if my food touches. I know some people are picky picky about that. Honey, it's all going the same place. All right, so we got the coleslaw. And tomato. all of this avocado. Maybe I'll just take three slices. Now we're going to want to put this uh -huh, All right. I mean, we already know how amazing they are. But they just kept cooking and cooking and cooking. And so now just gonna add some beans to my plate and voila my dinner is done i made these delicious beans using the greco multifunctional electric cooker if you guys are flight attendants like myself and you want to have nice fresh yummy meals on the go um i suggest that you invest in one of these pots sis like this is absolutely amazing great show it's the plug mm -hmm. i'm gonna go eat in the meantime, in between time, stay beautiful, let your light shine, let nothing in the one stop you from growing.